Hey everybody, this is Al here from the Field of Geeks and uh, we're going to do our very first unboxing here. What we've got is the Star Wars Walmart exclusive uh, Funko Pop Sand Trooper and Dewback figurines here. So you can see the box here. It's pretty cool. It's got the Walmart sticker right there. Only at Walmart. And uh, I picked this up from Walmart.com because I uh, couldn't find them from any of the, at any of the Walmarts here in town. Uh, I, I looked at like two or three and it just weren't, uh, for whatever reason, the Walmarts here are really lame. They don't, they have like a lot of general Star Wars stuff, but not any of the pop vinyls. Or at least, if they were here, they were all wiped out on Force Fridays and I, I wasn't out that night. So, so this is what the box looks like. It's really, really cool. It's got the Sand Trooper. So, uh, and the, obviously the Dewback. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing. And so, got the lid here. Go ahead and pop that off. Uh, ooh, plastic lips right up. Take the take this little guy out. So the oh, that's pretty cool. I got the sand trooper figure here. He's got his little got some sand all over his all over his suit there. That's kind of cool. It's kind of weathered. He's got his staff here. He's got his pop eyes. They're uh, they look a little better than the original stormtrooper eyes that they had. But the the Force Awakens one Force Awakens. Stormtroopers look even better. And here's, here's what it looks like on the back. It's got a backpack that's really detailed. Pretty decent paint job. Not the greatest pop vinyl in the world, but it'll do. All the Star Wars ones for licensing issues have to be bobbleheads. So, so that's pretty cool. So there's him. So uh, we'll put him right here. We'll take this guy out. The do back. Ugh. Here's the the do back. Believe it or not, he's a vinyl uh, bobblehead too. He's got his little, got the reins here. It's kind of cool. He's kind of got these scales, and you can has that texture too. Paint job's okay. I guess there's a little like yellow paint spot there or something. Overall, it's pretty cool. Uh, this thing, this thing isn't very heavy because uh, the ho the heads here are hollowed out because it's got the. Uh, the spring for the bobble. That's so it's it's really light. Um, I don't. It's I, I wouldn't. I can't really tell you what the weight is. It's obviously not even a pound. But this guy's obviously super light too. But some of these uh, some of these vary in weight. Some of these pop vinyls. But yeah, I, I don't know. It's I'm pretty happy with them. It looks pretty cool. You can kind of recreate the little uh, scene on Tatooine where they're looking for the droids. Or maybe, or maybe do a little bit of the uh, <laughs> of the spaceballs <laughs> coming to desert scene. <laughs> found anything yet? <laughs> yeah, I <haven't> found shit. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's so that's the uh, sand trooper and the dewback. Uh, I'm pretty happy with them. Um, this is the first uh, like two in one box I've gotten where it's technically, I guess, it's a vehicle kind of a ride uh, pop vinyl. So. So I've got a whole bunch of these Star Wars ones. I could, I'm probably going to do more of these unboxings in the future. So, uh, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. I'm going to put them on the shelf, or I don't, I don't know. It's hard to imagine putting this back in the box. It's kind of cool. I like, I like it. Oh, it has like Lucasfilm stuff here on his belly, and the, <laughs> and the all the red. I didn't expect to see that writing there. So he's got his claws. That's pretty neat. So, so that's the Sand Trooper and the Dewback. So I guess uh, now that they're unboxed, I guess uh, we'll put them on the shelf and have some fun. Check them out all the time. Bobble their heads. Okay. I guess that's it. We'll talk to you later, guys. Thanks a lot.